Hello, welcome to another Game Guru video, and I want to demonstrate something called the Snap Mode. And it's a recent addition to uh, Build 27. And the best way to demonstrate it is to choose an entity that is generally rectangular, so it's got nice flat edges. And I'm going to pick something modular wall 5, because it's generally rectangular in shape. So I use our free flight mode to zoom into a nice perspective. And there's our entity. Now watch what happens. Normally when you place down an entity, you place one, hold down shift so you can do duplicate. So we put it down once. And you have to sort of line it up manually and it's very difficult to do and it's probably always going to get it wrong. Right? Um, but and there are some grid modes if you press B twice. Then you get this mode where you can click once and it gives you a nice grid. But again, that's not always going to be sufficient because you might want to connect them together and the entities are not exactly divisible by a hundred. So there's a third mode called snap mode. So if you notice in the bottom right, you've got normal, then you press B and you go to snap and then you press B and you go to grid. And what we want is the snap mode. Now I've just noticed that the train is a little undulated. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all these entities. I'm going to go to level mode and then just flatten the area. That way we know the ground is perfectly flat. You wouldn't build a house on a slope. Well, <laughs> you might build a house on a slope in Wigan, but that's another story. Okay, and then maybe we'll make it stone. So we get a real sense of uh, flat work area. Okay, they'll do. So we have our wall, we're in snap mode. So watch what happens, I'll hold down shift so I can duplicate lots of entities. So I'll put the first one down. And then watch what happens. So it snaps immediately to the end of the last entity and you can, it even works with rotation so um, it clicks there. So as you can see, it actually works on any orientation. Let me pick something a little smaller to demonstrate that again. Uh, there's a few sort of a geometry on the edges of these, so it won't be a perfectly uh, seamless wall. But if I just rotate it a little bit, at a skewy angle like that, and watch what happens. Like this. So it clicks into place, and then I'll rotate it a little bit more. And then carry on. So it doesn't matter about the rotation, it will still figure out where to snap to, just like that. And so on. And then I'll rotate it a bit more, snap to. And probably the best entity to demonstrate is a fence piece. So we'll pick the uh, chain linked fence. If you pick the barbed wire, the geometry sort of extends beyond the edges of the fence, so it's not a perfectly seamless thing. But the, the, the chain link one's pretty cool. So rotate this so the uh, it's going in, and we can rotate it a little bit. And again, we just hold down shift, and then it clicks perfectly into place. So that's snapping. I can it can also work with other things like um, before you only had a hundred by a hundred, and it didn't really work for a lot of these floor pieces. So if we take this one, which is a, a non-uniform size. We can click that down and then it snaps to all the axes. Now this snap to is pretty cool. It actually even snaps on a vertical as well, but that's a lot more difficult to demonstrate. So I won't be doing that in this very quick video. But I just wanted to demonstrate that you now have the ability to snap things together at a non-uniform size. If you did want a uniform size, let me just quickly demonstrate what I mean by uniform size. If I pick something relatively small like this and I go to the next uh, snap mode which is grid so you see grid in the bottom right corner you see immediately it's actually gone to this grid so I can click down and it's all by 100 by 100 but unless your entities are exactly 100 by 100 that's not really going to work for you so the snap mode, let's say we go to snap mode and watch what happens I just zoom in a little bit closer 
and we go to snap mode and now watch what happens it actually uses the dimensions of the entity and it snaps them a lot closer together the reason they're not like connecting is that there's a lot of geometry around this entity and the geometry has to be really perfectly lined up in order to create seamlessness like for example this modular wall 5 if I go and over here so I can zoom in nice so I'll hold down um, shift and then you notice it boing boing connects to it and so there you go you see so if we can zoom in on that you can actually see that the geometry is like a little bit of a camber on it um, but it actually is perfectly sealed so that's snap mode um, it's very very useful you'll find you're using it a lot when you've got things like fences and walls and stuff to connect together and it's just one more feature in the arsenal of editor features that we're going to be bringing to Game Guru over the next couple of months. So I hope you find the Snap tool useful and I look forward to making another video for you soon. Goodbye.